Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you praise. You are worthy to be glorified. Awesome. God, we honor you. We adore you. You are a faithful, 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 faithful God. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for the great things you continue to do for us, oh God. We are grateful to you. We are so grateful to you. We are so grateful to you, O oh God. Blessed be your name, Almighty Father. Thank you for days one to seven. Thank you, O oh God, for perfecting everything that concerns us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for our children, our families, our homes. Thank you for all that you've done for us, that you're doing already, the ones you're going to do even as we step into the school year. We are just so grateful to you. And we just say thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, awesome Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Welcome everyone who's just coming in. Thank you for being a part of today's prayers. Today is day seven. All right. Did you, could you imagine that? When did we just start this? Wasn't it just yesterday we started these prayers? <laughs> it's already day seven and God has been so, so good to us. Today we're going to be praying for our children that are going to be schooling away from home. So if you have children that are going to the boarding school or they're not just with you, maybe they're in another city, another country, another environment, another location, all those, they're the ones we're going to be praying for today. And we're going to pray for them concerning different things. I'm sure you know that a child who's not at home, um, you know, needs a lot of prayers in different areas. So it's not just enough to say, oh, we're going to pray for protection. What about other things? You know, when you're not there, they need to make decisions. Who do they run to? Who do they turn to? You know, things like that. So just going to commit any child that is not with you uh, or is not going to be with you in the new school area. We're going to commit them into the into God's hands uh, and just trust God with them. All right. We're going to start from the obvious place, which is to pray for protection as they will be going into where they are or where they are, that God should keep them safe, watch over them. We're going to start from there. And we're just going to trust God and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I commit these children, we commit these children into your hands. Um, we, are not, we are not going to be home with us. We are going to be schooling away from home. Together as a group of mothers praying, we bring them before you today. And we say, Lord, we appropriate your protection power upon each and every one of them. We declare concerning them that, Lord, you will keep them. You will watch over them. You are their strength. You are their shield. You continue to be their God. You continue to watch over them and, and be with them, O oh God, that no evil report will be named amongst them in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today, O oh God, that your protection is upon all of our children who are not going to be with us in any way or the other, whatever the form it may take, whether in the boarding school or they're in another country, another location, another part of the city, we declare concerning them, O oh God, that you will be with them. From now, even into the new school year, your protection is upon them, O oh God. You will keep them safe. You watch over them by your power. We pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we we'll have no reason to sorrow or to weep over any one of them. We will not be called in emergency to say, yes, something has happened to your child. That will not be our portion. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you, O oh God, are the shield unto our children. You are their shield. You are their strength. You keep them you surround them, O oh God, as the mountains surround Jerusalem. So our God surrounds us in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare concerning our children that will not be at home in any way, in any form. We declare that you will keep them safe. You will watch over them, O oh God. You will be their God. You will be their father. You will be their strength, even as they are in school in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to pray for ourselves. You know, for the, especially for if you don't have children outside, outside the home, Please pray for your sisters that, that do. I want us to pray. You know, there's a tendency for us to, to panic, especially with all that's going on around the world, to be afraid, to be anxious about everything. I want us to commit our hearts into God's hands. I'm going to, I'm going to declare that the, the peace of the Lord that passes every understanding, meaning even you cannot understand why you are at peace. It passes, it defies every kind of logic. That kind of peace will rest upon your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those who have children outside the, outside the home, if you don't have, please pray for your sisters and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we commit our sisters into your hands. Uh, we commit all our, you know, your dear daughters here, all the children that are going to be away from home. We commit their mothers and their parents, their fathers as well, 
and we commit all of us into God's hands and we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the peace of God that passes every understanding will guard our hearts. There will be no anxiety. We will not give in to fear. We will not give in to anxious thoughts. We will not give in to fear of any kind. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare that your peace will, will guard our hearts, O oh God. You will lead us in with peace. We are led forth with peace in this new school year. As we go forth, O oh God, we are led forth with your peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because even the Bible says we go, we go out with joy and we are led forth with peace. We declare that, Lord, even in this school year, O oh God, your peace is upon our heart. We pray for the mothers that would have children outside the home that they will not be anxious, O oh God. They will not be anxious. They would allow themselves to rest in, in the peace of God. They will allow themselves to rest in the word of God, in the promises of God, in the protection of the Almighty upon the children, in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be anxious. They will not be full of anxious thoughts, but they rest in God's peace, in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray. I'm still praying for our children now, you know, the ones that are not going to be home. You know, as they're in school, a lot of things could, could happen, right? There are so many things that could happen. Uh, you know, there's, there is a possibility that they are at crossroads in their lives and they want to make decisions and they don't know what to do. Maybe you're too far off for them to reach you. Maybe they have days that they are able to call you. Maybe they can't even speak to you every day. They have to wait one week or something and they need to make a decision right now and, they're, and you're not there. And there's nobody to talk to. I want us to pray that two things. First of all, that when they need to make important decisions, they will not rely on themselves alone and the friends that they have. But they will, they will, they will, they will learn to rely on the Holy Spirit, number one. Number two, we're going to pray that at every point in time where they are confused and they need to make a decision that can impact on their lives and their future. That the Holy Spirit will be there whispering into their ears and saying, this is the way, go this way, do that, do that. They will not even understand. It will be like their mother or their father is speaking to them. That the Holy Spirit will be there. So two things, we're praying that they will not rely on their own wisdom, their own human wisdom, or their friend's advice or wisdom. That they would choose, they would know, they will understand how to rely on the Holy Spirit to give them guidance. Number two is that we're going to pray that the Holy Spirit is present with them leading them, guiding them, helping them to do the right thing at every point in time in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare concerning our children, oh God, that, that are not going to be with us. We pray, oh God, at uh, the point where they need to make important decisions in their lives. Holy Spirit, we declare that you are always with them. Help them to rely on you. Give them this urge to know not to ask only their friends or to ask only only. Whoever it is, they all rely only on themselves. The Lord, they will choose to rely on the guidance of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit will be there available to them, speaking to them, leading them in the way they should go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Masata li koso tole brayenda kasata. Le brayedi koso tole brayendi kasata. The Lord will not make any life altering decision, oh God, on their own human wisdom. But they rely on you because you are there with them, leading them, telling them what to do, telling them where to turn, what path to take. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ that your hand is upon us. Oh, yes, upon our children. They know what to do, where to go, where to turn. They're not left in the dark, oh God. They have clarity in their heart about what they need to do. That is important in the name of Jesus. Amen. I mean, we're going to pray for our children. You know what that's going to We're going to say, Lord, surround my children with good friends. Good friends. Good people. Good people. You know, there are, there are two kinds of people on this earth. The one that wants your life to be a mess. They don't care. They just keep leading you the wrong path. They, you know, they, they push you towards the wrong way. Always pushing you to the wrong things. And there are those who always say, no, I don't think that's okay. Why don't we do it this way, you know? Always pulling you in the right direction, you know? There are those kinds of people. I'm going to pray that the Lord surrounds our children with the right kind of people. Especially because they're not going to be home. They're not going to be with us, right? We can't know who they are speaking to in school. I'm going to pray. Lord, our children choose right. They choose the right kind of friends. The right kinds of friends are attracted to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will only attract the kinds of people that will add value to their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, oh God, that they will not be caught up 
in any form of ungodly relationship, any form of ungodly alliance, any child that would mess them up, any kind of relationship that would throw them off their course or the course of their lives, we declare, oh God, as they are not with us, we cannot even pick those people. We declare that they will have the correct kind of wisdom to choose right and pick the right kind of people in their lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children will not be left stranded, oh God, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to the right kinds of people. They will not be left without good friends, oh God. Without vacuum, there will be no, will be no vacuum of the right kinds of people surrounding them. In the name of Jesus, we declare, oh God, that they know what to do. They pick right, they choose right. In Jesus' name, we pray, oh God, that they will not have the wrong kinds of people pushing them in the wrong direction, leading them in the, in the, the down the wrong path for their lives. In the name of Jesus, I want us to pray for our children that even as they are not with us, that they are insulated. They are insulated. My husband shares his testimony all the time. You know, he used to be a Muslim. The people that led him, that made him give a life to Christ, that sowed the seeds of Christianity into his heart, were friends that he had in boarding school. Those friends were so kind to him that he had no choice <laughs> but to become a Christian. Do you get what I mean? Like, I want us to pray. We're still praying, right? We're insulating our children against every form of negative influence. The ones that are not, they're not going to be with us. We cannot check what they're doing every day. We insulate them against any form of negative influence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We, we send far away from them any negative influence, anybody that may want to come and mess up their, their destiny and purpose that you have already been praying for. One child just come from somewhere and just come want to mess things up. We're saying, no. No, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, oh God, that our children are insulated away from any negative influences. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ that our children are insulated away from every negative influence, oh God. Lord, they will only attract good people into their lives. Hey, Malika Satali and Shanta. They will only attract good people into their lives. That will sow good seeds into their hearts, into their lives, into their destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, oh God, that you will be with them, insulating them from every plan of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the Lord will, you know, will be our children's teacher. I mean, that scripture always, <laughs> I always pray. He says, I will teach your children myself. Like, okay, now, who, what, what kind of teacher do you want apart from God? Like, that's the best you could ever get. He said, he's going to teach our children. Our children will be taught of the Lord. And great will, of course, great will be my peace. <laughs> because my children are taught of the Lord by himself. I'm going to pray that the Lord himself will be their teacher. When they are faced with confusing things, whether it's in their academics or whatever it may be. You know, when things are tough, maybe they're not, they're not able to grasp something well in class. That the Holy Spirit will be there, he will lead them into every truth, will be their teacher, leading them, that they are taught of the Lord. Great is my peace. I declare that my children are taught of the Lord. The Lord is their teacher. Any child that is going away from home, we stand in agreement today and we declare that they are taught of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Lord will be their teacher, leading them, guiding them, helping them to know what to do. Helping them to know where to go, directing them aright in the name of Jesus. Le kasuta le praye di kasata lianda le praye de koso toma ye di kasata. Even when they are not there with us, the Lord is their teacher, leading them, teaching them, or helping them to do the right thing, to make the right decisions in the name of Jesus. Le kasata ye dari koso toma yanda le praya da kaso tolianda di kasata. My my peace is great because the Lord teaches my children. Oh yes. All our children on, uh, that are rep represented in this place, in this um, gathering of women that are praying together, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that our peace is great because the Lord teaches our children. He's their teacher, leading them in the way they should go. They are not, they are not going to go down the wrong path because the Lord is teaching them. The Holy Spirit is with them, holding them by the hand, telling them what to do in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray. We're going to say in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, you know, Boarding school is a totally different community on its own, <laughs> you know, and a lot of things could, could happen. We're going to pray for favor, favor for our children. 
whether it's before teachers or the house masters or whoever it is that is in charge of anything in that school our children will be singled out for faith you know how it is that they say the one child will just like your child for no reason like you don't even know why i'm gonna pray that those kind of people into your children's lives god's favor rest upon your children they are the kind of people that when it's just them, I say, what are you doing? You should not be doing that. People that will correct them, that will correct them in love, that will help them be the right kind of people. The kind of teachers and friends or, you know, people, the staff members that will just love them and guide them when they are going the wrong, on the, down the wrong path. That will lead them, help them, help their children to become better people. Lord, we call forth your favor into our children's lives, the ones who will be away from home, we pray for them, oh God, that your favor is upon them. When people look at them, they just want to bless them. They just want to do them well. They just want to do them good all of their days. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, oh God, that your favor is upon our children and you are leading them in the way they should go. You are directing their path because these teachers, these influencers, whether it's the teachers, whether it's their friends, whether it's other members of staff, will favor our children. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will favor them even when we are not there, even when we, we cannot even do our own. These people will be like their parents, leading them, guiding them, caring for them as their own, loving them as their own. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare, oh God, that our children are loved and favored by all that they come in contact with, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, all they want to do is to do them good all of the days of their lives. They are, they are compelled by the Lord to do our children good. Not to harm them in any way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray. You know the Bible says that. That um, that evil communication corrupts good manners. Communication corrupts good manners. And I always think about that thing. Like it didn't just say having evil friends alone. But the communication. You know the communication. The, the interaction. Is what corrupts good manners. So the more time your child spends with people that are not. In the same thought pattern or the same kind of mindset or the way you want them to go right so what will happen is that after a while your child begins to pick up bad habits right but there's also the other part of it is possible that your child is a child that nobody wants for their children to play with that's a possibility right but you are going to pray that your child is not that kind of child who will be a bad influence for other people because we are praying about we should get children that will be good influence right to our children but what about if your child doesn't want to be that kind of good influence for other children? Nobody's going to want them, want somebody else, you know. Nobody's going to want your child to be their own children's friends, right? We're going to pray. But even as we have taught our children to live in the way of God, I'm, I'm assuming we have, right? That we've taught them to do the right thing. We've taught them the way of the Lord. We've put all we can. We're praying for them right now. That they will not deviate from that path. They will not be named amongst the children that are of, that are negative influence to other children's lives, right? They will not be the ones that are communicating evil to other people's children. We pray that our children will always do the right thing, even when we are not there. Honestly speaking, parenting is a tough job. <laughs> it is a tough job, but God can. God God has given us has given us the grace. He supplied for us the wisdom that we require. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that our own children will be good children, even to other other children. They will not be the ones that no, no parent wants their children to play with. No, no, no. Our children will also be good examples in purity, in holiness, in righteousness, in the fear of God. Even as they are interacting with other children away from home, they will be the children guiding other children on the right path. They will be the ones helping other children to go to the right path. They will not be amongst the ones named to be leading children away from God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children, as we have taught them, the, the Lord will go with them, helping them to choose right always, helping them to make the right decision at every point in time, helping them to be the kind of people that other people want their own children to be friends with. A good example in every area of their lives, in their academics, in the, in the way they think, in the way they carry themselves, in responsibility, in leadership. Our children will be good examples unto other people. They will not be the ones influencing other children for bad, oh God, in the name of Jesus. When we are not there, oh God, Lord, be our eyes. Lord, when we are not there, be our hands and feet. Lord, help us with these children, oh God, that they will choose right always. They will not be of amongst the children that are influencing other people for evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them to be good examples always, oh God. Our heart cry, our heart's desire that our children will, will you know, be, will be good leaders in their own generation. 
leading their generation in the, in the right way. Lord, that is our cry today. That's our prayer today. And we trust you, O oh God, to do for us even much more than we can ask or think, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. You know, the Bible says that because we have made the Most High our refuge, our dwelling place, no harm will come near us, no plague will come near our tents. We're going to pray, you know, especially now we're focusing our prayers Especially now with this pandemic and everything that is happening, some children are going to resume school anyway. They're in the exam year, they're going to do the exams. Whatever the case may be, some are going to go back to school. I want us to pray for our children that no plague will come near them. The ones that are not going to be home, we are, we are no longer in control of how they of, of their hygiene, of how they carry themselves. We're going to say, Lord, we pray for all the children that are going to be resuming now. We pray your protection upon them, O oh God. They are not going to be with us anymore. But Lord, we declare that your protection goes with them. No plague, no pandemic, O oh God. No plague, no plague, no plague will come near them. The Lord keeps them. Yes, Lord. The Lord keeps them. The Lord watches over them. Lord, you watch over our children. You will not allow evil to come near them. In the name of Jesus Christ, our hearts cry out today. And we declare that your hand is upon us for good. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us begin to say, Father, we thank you. We thank you once again for answered prayers. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord, because you've heard our prayers. We've heard, you've heard our cries as we have gathered together to pray concerning our children that are schooling away from home today. We pray, Lord, that you will. We thank you, Lord, because you have already answered every prayer. We thank you because as we have spoken to you in your ears, you have heard us. And we have the assurance that you have answered our every prayer. Thank you, mighty God, because our hearts are kept peaceful. Thank you, because anxiety has no place in our hearts in this new school year. We give you glory. We give you praise. Blessed be your name, mighty Father. We thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, thank you for praying again, day seven. Um, don't forget what we mentioned that we should be planning. If you're new here, you've not been here before, we're supposed to be taking this time out to also plan. Um, you know, into the new school year. We're taking this time to um to make to make the preparations, what you need to put in place, what you need to start doing now. Uh, you know, before the school year resumes. There's there's a short time now before the school before schools resume, depending on what is gonna happen. For you, even if it's online, is there anything you need to do? Is there anything you need to get ready? What do you need to do to put in place? Start planning them. Every day, write out something you need to do and make sure you do them, all right? Because it helps us not to be frazzled or overwhelmed or, you know, all over the place and all of those things when school is about to resume. So start a plan. Start a plan for back to school. Don't let anything um, stop you <laughs> from preparing or from, from getting ready for the new school year, all right? Tomorrow, day eight, we're going to be praying for protection from sicknesses and diseases. Ha! What better time to pray about that than now? I'm sure you'll agree with me that this is even so much more um, of that time. When I wrote this book, the year that this book was published was the year that there was Ebola, the Ebola pandemic. That was what was on at that time, right? And so this prayer was so apt for that season. And now we're back to that, to that kind of season. Ha! But we trust God that he keeps us. He watches over us. He's our faithful father. We're going to be praying, uh, you know, about for protection against sicknesses and diseases tomorrow. So please make it a date. Invite everyone to be a part of this. Um, we trust that the Lord will continue to give us grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Examples of things we can do. Oh, yes, you can begin to um, plan for resumption. You can begin to put things in place like food timetable, for instance. Um, someone is asking a question in case you're wondering what I'm talking about. Someone is asking for examples of things we can do to prepare for the new school year. You can start to have a food timetable. How is it going to look like in terms of food um, lunch packs for the children where they're going to be taken to school and things like that? Even if they're going to be home, you want to, you still want to plan that. You're not, you're not just eating up the house, right? You want to plan meal times, you know, and just plan the day. Schedule your schedule. What's it going to look like? You want to plan your day. Um, you know, how is it going to be for you? Is there anything changing? Did you get a new job? Is it a different routine from what you're used to? Write out that plan. Put a routine in place. For how it's going to look for you you know i'm an advocate of planning the day before 
So I do that a lot. What am I going to be doing tomorrow? I plan it the day before. We set it out. You need to, you know, whatever it is that they need to do. Do you need to buy new uniforms? Have they outgrown the old ones? You need to buy new books. You know, things like that. You need to put, begin to put those things in place. If you also visit our website, momsachievingpurpose.com, you will find resources there. Uh, if you sign up to be one of our VIP moms, you get resources there to help you to plan your day, your routine, checklist, things like that. Uh, meal planners and you know you get a lot of those things budgeting even budgeting money uh <laughs> you one day is here i don't know if she's, she's dropped off now she's our money mommy you know teach, teaching us about how to use our money well there are a lot of materials that you can use to help you to help you grow um you know in that area of your life maybe you're not you're not naturally an organized person there are resources there to help you grow if you need more help you can send me an email or just um send me a whatsapp message and i'll be willing to share the links with you all right then We'll see you tomorrow, ladies. God bless you. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you too. Thank you for your prayers. Amen, amen, and amen. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care and bye-bye.